1977, a sleep laboratory, dark, sterile, still. LeBurge enters the room with one single goal, to prove that a human being can wake up inside a dream, with awareness, with precision, with control. The problem? No one believed him. Because how do you prove consciousness when the body is paralyzed by REM sleep? The answer was hidden in the smallest loophole of human biology, the eyes. The code from the dream world. He trained for weeks, then months, night after night, slipping into the same question. Can consciousness survive inside a dream? He wasn't guessing, he was preparing. Every evening he fell asleep with one intention, sharp as a blade. When the dream begins, I wake up inside it, and then, one night, it happened. Clarity inside the dream. He remembered the plan. He remembered the signal. He remembered the laboratory waiting for proof. Inside the dream world, he pushed his awareness into his eyes. Left, right, left, right. A coded message from another reality. In the real world, the machines spiked, perfectly synchronized. Not random, not REM flicker, not noise. Conscious, deliberate, intentional movement. A human being had just sent a signal from inside a dream. In that moment, an invisible wall collapsed. The dream was no longer a locked chamber. It was a second state of consciousness, reachable, measurable, provable. And he wasn't afraid, he was electrified. Because if you can send a message out of a dream, what else can you do inside it?